I think it's most critical to reconnect to our natural and evolutionary sources of omega-3 fatty acids. And the richest, most nutritionally correct sources are in fish and particularly in oily fish. So the Dietary Guidelines of America, when they say uh, two seafood meals a week, they say a meal is six ounces of seafood. The Dietary Guidelines of two fish meals a week, about 12 ounces of an average or common seafood, uh, to my knowledge, uh, were based on the outcome of preventing cardiovascular disease and that is an established minimum recommendation. No, they do not distinguish between high oily omega-3 fatty acid fish and low content omega-3 fatty acid fish. So I think a critical message here is that not all seafood are created equal. Black cod, herring, anchovies, sardines, they're very rich in EPA and DHA and deliver exactly what the brain needs. We need better labeling and better understanding of what the real nutrient content of the fish are and also expand this not only from the omega-3 and 6 content but the other nutrient contents of fish because fish were traditionally the evolutionary deliverers of multiple critical nutrients that work together. I would venture to guess that the vast majority of the American population fails to meet even this minimum dietary recommendation of two fish meals a week. We don't think that there is any upper bound to eating omega-3 fatty acids and that is based on populations that were eating seafood breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day pretty much of their entire lives and we don't see any adverse effects. Uh, for any health outcomes, and no adverse effects for pregnancy either. We can say the more the better. <laughs>